One very important aspect of my work is that the viewer has the power to interpret the piece. Because of this, I don't always entitle each piece, but I entitle series of work. Behind me is two examples of series I've created. The first is the salvage series. This piece of work was created from salvage wood of an old home in the Houston area. This piece threw its shadow onto the canvas behind me, and that created the industrial series. A really thrilling part of my life today is my opportunity to work with other artists to help inspire them and develop their careers. By doing this, we are able to express our talents and crafts to a wider audience. And not only we as the artists are able to heal through our work, but we are able to touch and heal the people that are exposed to what we have created. I believe that traveling is a very important part of one's evolution. I especially think this is true for an artist. Early in my career, I made the commitment to travel to a new country every year to learn a new culture and to learn from a new painter. Behind me is a great example of work I created at the Skopelos Foundation for the Arts. Skopelos Island is part of the Sporades Islands. Greece is an exception. To me, it's a second home. The foundation there supports my career, so for Greece, I visit every two years. Another exciting series of work I create is the biography series. In this series, I get photographs and memorabilia about a person's life and incorporate them onto a piece of art. This could be a special event or life event that could be appreciated for generations to come. This is the landscape series. This body of work is inspired by photographs I have taken across the United States. The depth of these pieces is that before any color is painted onto the canvas, the entire piece of art is covered with bits of torn abstract art. Then the soothing colors of the canvas are applied to create the landscape. All series that I create have their inspiration. Whether trying to describe life or an experience, my inspiration for becoming a full-time painter is my mom, Ada Palmer. No matter what my siblings or I were involved in growing up, she would be our champion. I once asked her, Mom, what would happen if people decided not to like my work anymore? She said you would find something better. This gave me the peace I needed to stay on my path. When I first walked my mom through the new studio, halfway through the tour, she stopped and said, I cannot believe this space that you have created. I turned to her and said, Mom, you have created this space for me. I was only the eager student. Thank you for watching my story thus far. I believe we've covered to about chapter four. There are about 20 chapters in this book. And by following my career, you will be able to see the excitement unfold. To see chapter 20, please stay in touch.